Okay, what I have here is a Hall effect sensor from an older uh, GS1000 BMW. Um, what happens with these is the coating on the wires crack up because of the heat and cooling and whatnot and just age. Um, then with the wires being so close together, they touch each other, browned out, and then you can't get your bike started. So what I've done is um, disassembled the wire part, as you can see, it's kind of cut through there. Um, these small ends, the um, hollow pins, I had to reuse them because I don't know where to find new ones. So uh, just be real gentle when you're trying to get these out. You have to pop out this clip, which is on the inside here like that. So you stick a screwdriver in and pop this out. And then um, these stay positioned into there. So you go in through this side, and I just used a small brass punch and just kind of lightly tapped them until they came out um, to try not to, to try and not destroy them so I could reuse them. And um, I cut them right off to this connection point here. There was heat shrink wrap um, from here to the old wires. Uh, so I just cut them off before the, the, the clip and then gently went in there and opened up one side of the clip with a knife and a set of pliers. Sorry about the focus here, guys. Um, to get ready for the new wire going in. Now, the wire I've used is, as you can see, there's a wire braid um, um, uh, jacket on the outside, and it, uh, um, it, it connects to the pin area, but not into uh, uh, the Hall effect sensor itself. So um, it's there for some reason and I'm pretty sure it's to pick up electromagnetism or something of the sort. I'm not an electrician. so. Um, but a little tidbit of information for you if I could find where I put this. The way to get free wire. <laughs> um, contact these people at Alpha Wire and request a sample of this number right here. They will send you two feet of it for free. No shipping, no nothing. And um, I measured up everything and the wire gauge is real close or bang on. Um, and uh, yeah, it has the, has the braided shield. And it's almost the proper size to reuse this grommet. Um, you can see it slides on and off there nicely. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is putting two layers of heat shrink on this cable, and then it should fill out this area. Um, then everything will be nice and tight again. So I hope this helps you uh, um, a little bit. I've, um, I've looked for videos trying to figure out how to do this, and I couldn't find anything anywhere. Um, except for some PDFs, uh, but a lot of us are a little more comfortable learning from a video. So there you go. That's how to rewire your Hall effect sensor on a BMW GS1000. Thanks for watching. Bye.